was summer 2011. I was in the kitchen putting things away because we had just moved in and that's when it first happened. Oh my God. Scott! I never really believed in ghosts or anything before, but honestly, this place gave me a creepy vibe from day one. <laughs> haunted and it seemed like the ghost was just obsessed with my breasts it went on and on all day all night it was constantly molesting me it just would not leave me alone it got to the point where I started staying really late for work because I just didn't want to go home and it caused a bit of strain on Scott and I. Can't you see this is what it wants? It's tearing us apart! Damn you, where are you? <laughs> Things were getting really bad and I didn't know what to do, so we brought in Father Denny to bless the house. Denny. Father Denny was going room to room, blessing the house. Suddenly, a piece of paper just fell through the air in front of him. Then, it started hitting him. We had no idea what to do at that point. We couldn't afford to move, and I felt like we were out of options. And that's when I saw an ad in the back of a local paper. Chelsea saw an ad for paranormal investigator and psychic named Artemis. I've seen and handled a lot of paranormal cases, but I've never felt anything like this. This was, uh, it was a presence. This thing was fucking horny. <laughs> what can I say? Artemis said he had to roust the ghost in order to make contact. I thought his method seemed pretty unorthodox, but what do I know? I knew we had to have a seance, but I also knew I had to channel the ghost inside of me and trap it there so I could get inside of his head, see what makes him tick. Artemis talked Scott and I into doing a seance. He said it was the best thing we could do to get rid of a ghost. And at that point, we were willing to try anything. Anything. Okay. Hear me, rambunctious spirit. Come to me. Come inside of me. Use my body. Show me what you want. Tell me what you want. For a brief glimpse, I was actually able to see what the ghost was after. <laughs> is, is it still within you? A little bit of it, yeah. Artemis said that the previous resident was actually a plastic surgeon that did breast implants. Apparently, his wife died in the house from complications during a botched boob job. It was weird because we looked through the history of the house and there was no record of anything like that, but who knows? I mean, maybe it was a squatter. I could not believe that the spirit had taken such control of me. I mean, complete physical manifestation. I've never been a part of anything like this. Artemis said we should try another seance just to be sure, but Scott was sort of against it. No. No. Whatever Artemis did, it must have worked, because we were never bothered again after the seance. 
He just stopped by one day after that and said he wanted to try something. And just like that, I mean poof, the ghost was gone. You could just feel the difference in the air. It was like the first day of spring. <laughs> to do and to work with Tom Arnold was amazing. I used to watch him like all the time growing up so when I heard I got to work with him I was just like oh my god. And then I met him in person and he was so cool but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, click over here to see the whole sketch I did on the Weird Fellas Funny or Die channel. It was awesome. Make sure you go there and you give it a nice funny upvote. Upvote it funny and, and say something nice about me on it so they put me in more of their sketches with super famous actors and other other things that was that was really cool so thank the guys from weird fellas for putting me in the sketch really really love you guys and click over there for more funny videos from me thanks so much for watching have a happy halloween be safe what are you guys going to be for halloween tell me in the comments below tell me now tell me now i love you thank you my super team peace